has a gift without problem we don't have a solution we would not able to grow up so it's my man pleasure to welcome you all for this webinar on behalf of arcu aviation private limited all our dreams can come true only if a courage to pursue them it's my it's an honor to welcome our chief guest major namata deshmana to the present her value experience in the topic of important in corporate social responsibility in corporate we welcome you ma'am and the session is over to you thank you so much uh, raja rajeshwari and uh, captain shekhar and entire team for uh, giving me the honor to uh, share uh, my views on corporate social responsibility so as we are progressing for next year we see uh, how corporates have started uh, you know looking uh, at a different perspective towards the responsibility that they owe towards the society towards the uh, employees towards the stakeholders right and that's the reason why i decided to pick this topic of uh, csr to give you people who are young uh, mba aspirants and who are going to take over our society our country soon so with this i'll just give you a brief about csr it's a it's basically a company's uh, responsibility uh, and commitment towards the communities where they do their business there are majorly four factors that shape up the uh, csr that social media environmental economic pressures and socio economic so with social media they they get the they get a platform social media allows wo the world to know what the corporations are doing with environmental concerns like global warming is becoming an increasingly impo important issue economic pressures like fluctuations in global market and socio economic matters like they have started with d and i they have started with lgbtq they have started with uh, this pandemic in, is on increase so they have started increasing uh, their things on uh, refugees or people who are badly affected the migrants etc so these factors have actually changed the way the organizations have started approaching towards the traditional model of csr to a new model you see in the organizations even hr values the talent for whom social responsibility matters a lot important than a compliance issues in many organizations now how csr is planned or how strategy is made a, C a strategy is made for csr just like any other process right it begins with getting a commitment from leadership a business case is made then that shows how strategy will be created and the value for the organization including exponential and financial growth in assessment phase a review of existing csr systems is done and a feedback is taken with concerned stakeholders on the effectiveness of current csr systems in third step they create a infrastructure of how to create the entire ecosystem be it internal stakeholders like employees or the external stakeholders next the plan is made the plan is measured and implemented and last the plan is reassessed uh, the revisions are made and a continuity is built up over the entire process so with this i'll start my presentation unfortunately i'm so sorry due to some technical issues i cannot share my presentation uh so here i'll just start with my presentation of uh, on the csr and uh, i want you people to reflect on yourself by just writing quickly on the chat box that what are your moral values or what are the, what is the purpose of your life if you can just let, let me know that what is the purpose of your life because you people will be entering into the industry so i want you people to think dive deeper along with this subject so that it becomes little engaging can we have something on the chat box a 
Okay, I can't see. I want to be best that whatever the task that I do, Okay. Will be helpful and give my hundred percent. Great. What is the purpose of your life? Okay. Uh, so if you can also write any one of you or maybe a two or three ideas if I can get that. What all you have been doing dur during this pandemic for the society? Any one of you have been able to do or contribute to anything? Okay, no worries, let's go ahead. So under Companies Act 2013, it has become a mandate for the organizations to provide the contribution of 2% of the average profits of companies for the society. And India became the first country to legally mandate CSR on 1st April 2014. Now there is a Carroll's model of CSR, uh, which got promulgated in 1991, which holds majorly four responsibility, economic responsibility, legal responsibility, social responsibility, and ethical responsibility. So with this, these kind of responsibility, the CSR as a whole comprised of four elements. The elements are community, environment, workplace, and market. So if I ask you people, what do you people understand with community? Let it be a little engaging. Okay. See, a community will be a group of people living in the same place or having a particular characteristic in common. So like we say LGBTQs, or we say veterans community, or we have many other, uh, we go uh, to the Western countries, so they have black community. So these are the kind of communities that they have and towards them, the organizations hold the hold certain responsibilities, right? Then second element is the market. A market is a place where two parties can gather to facilitate the exchange of goods and services. You people all being uh, uh, MBA would be knowing what market is all about. Then the workplace. Workplace where you people are going to step in, in your office, where your colleagues will be there. And how is the organization making your workplace more holistically, organically, you know, uh, comfortable for you employees to work in a more uh, comfortable way. Then environment. Surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal or plant lives or operates. So with the environment, the manufacturing industry becomes very responsible and they really have to look after what their plants that they are having. With plants, I mean the, the machinery system. Manufacturing industries like Vedanta is there, Tata Steel is there. They have the responsibility towards the environment that they do not have any kind of, uh, they, they have their plants as zero emission and the plant, the emission uh, which they are, their plant, their plant is, getting out in the environment is not affecting any kind of person or animal or any kind of bird or even plant. So that's the kind of responsibility that they hold in uh, running their plant. So CSR in the organization brings the competitive advantage. So you see, um, CSR is also planned nowadays to create the brand reputation. What 
so that's where you can shape at a very very strategic level where they need to understand that where they need to have a very strategic level analysis that okay one organization in their industry is doing this so how to achieve competitive advantage over their competitors this will make your organization to create competitive advantage in the industry so quickly if any of you can just write and make the webinar a little more interesting by uh, telling me that uh, what all csr does inside or outside the organization according to you if at all you people are aware helps society okay great awareness okay education great i'm glad thank you thanks a lot so you see uh, how can we bring the competitive advantage in the industry so there is a greater employee engagement when 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 an organization has a csr properly placed in their uh, process or in their verticals there is improved quality and productivity there is a brand building done through csr then there are better stake, stakeholder management there are increased sales and profits there is a customer loyalty see why all these things are now important because now even customers sentiments have also become very important in taking view that for whatever product that i at least go for i look after it that whether the organization is sensitive enough in making the product in manufacturing the product maggi got banned so many years we have been seeing but see even nestle has to face all these kind of things when they when some kind of information was floated and the kind of profit loss that the organization has to go so all the kind of uh, these factors have to be kept in mind to achieve the competitive advantage in the industry with this i'll move on to the next slide so csr in the organization has now become a separate function so it is quite noticeable how much more prominent corporate social responsibility has become now it is just not a academic world or a business world but it is it is now in a in our everyday life so let me highlight few factors like poor business behavior towards customer we just spoke about maggi treating employees unfairly ignoring the environment and consequences of organizational action a classical example of vedanta sterilized copper this plant just could not meet up the expectations of the uh, external stakeholders and has been closed since maybe now 3 4 years and this was the mother plant of vedanta used to give 3 to 4% of gdp to the economy and that's the kind of richness this plant in spite of giving to the economy uh, to the uh, of the nation uh, since they were not able to manage the external stakeholders this plant is now seeing the closure altogether uh now i want you people to tell me what is your favorite uh, which is your favorite advertisement which reflects the csr activity i wish if i could have uh, shown my uh, presentation to you people as well so just dive little deeper and uh, some advertisements if you remember which gives message of uh, you know csr initiatives in the organizations okay my favorite is amul just you can observe now maybe if you have not ever, uh, ever uh, observed till now the moment something happens amul is always the first one to give their advertisements uh, in the social media so just look at the creativity look at the quickness and the look at the social uh, responsibility towards the community of this organization that they hold and they are out in the society they are out in the organization and they are out in the industry 
so that's why i take amul as my number one in terms of uh, csr and in terms of yes itc wipro nike great that means you people are aware i'm i'm i'm, ha I'm happy thank you then google google has got a very great initiative green is an uh, corporate effort where they use uh, their resources uh, uh, effectively and provides renewable power then tata group uh, we all know uh, tatas are never behind whenever it comes to contribute to, for the nation building we have seen the tribute on the anniversary of 2611 what tatas have been doing Uh, next, I have written about a uh, scope of, of career in CSR. So this, I want you people to just think a little that what kind of skill sets would be required if uh, if you people intend to join CSR. Empathy, empathy, Okay, little more, little more brainstorming. Communication skills. Good plan, excellent, excellent marketing. Excellent. So as I have told you people earlier that CSR now has become a strategic function. It comprised of external and internal communication with the stakeholders. So when I say internal, it is about the employees. When I say about the external stakeholders, it is the dependents, it is the users, it is the uh, civil administration, it is the political people, the government, all these kind of people at various levels. So then they will involve, it is also involved with lots and lots of system thinking. Then you should also know your business before you start making your plan. You should have high networking skills, be it with education, be it with NGOs, be it with legal people to look after the governance. And you should be able to use social media so well that you are able to build up the brand image of your organization, which I'm sure now you would be, uh, you people would be really good at uh, using the social media. So uh, with this, I just wanted to ask you people quickly that which is one of the organization which could not meet the legal compliance issues and had to see the closure. The one and only Satyam. And they just could not, they just could not meet the governance issues. And so these are the examples why I'm giving so that uh, you understand the importance of responsibility, not only towards the society or to the environment, but even towards your own employees. We cannot even have, uh, you know, frauds done by our, with our own employees. So skill sets required, as the people have correctly brought us, communications, system thinking, business acumen, networking, and social website, which I just comprised in a small narrative which i just said so with this i had also planned some certain videos which i could not play with you people uh, from my side i am definitely done but i really want you people to have a little engaging session and uh, ask me what you want to have what you want to ask in uh, this uh, csr if there is some if there is some question Okay, so then my question goes, yeah, Raja, uh, Raja Rajeshwari. Ma'am, uh, if a company is doing CSR in various sectors, if we want to do a project in a company in the, in regarding CSR, what we can do? We can took the uh, previous that they are doing or we can initial them to give a new project that what the sector they did not know. Wonderful question. Great. Thank you for asking. Uh, I can I call you Rajeshwari? Yeah, ma'am, sure. Okay, thanks. Rajeshwari, uh, you can get associated with the NGO. There are NGOs which are associated 
with the organizations if you cannot if you're not able to get hold of any organization you can even get hold to the uh, any uh, ngo because the organizations have so much funds which they are not able to understand how to spend they even get associated with the ngos and the ngos have lots many projects in which you can get into lots of interns are there these days if you want you can get in touch with me also later and i can get associated with the with many ngos who are associated with lots of corporates and then you can make your short term or long term project for your mba thank you ma'am thank you so much so if you ask you have asked me about uh, if you want to get into their project that's going to take a lot of time because their projects are all long term projects and they're all funded projects but yes you can make your small term maybe a, a short term strategy you can make and you can build a short term plan that you have made get it incorporated in the organization that this is what my plan is and this is what my project will be all about so all the organizations welcome uh, you know new ideas about it Thank you. Okay, I want to ask some more questions as well. So here goes then my question: How many of you people are interested in uh, will be interested in making your career in CSR? Okay. So to uh, sum it up. so uh, whenever i have interviewed uh, all the people or all the z generation uh, 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 i would say z generation employees and candidates i have seen a lot of zeal and lot of energies for in them which uh, of course i being an army officer was having a different mindset but yes when i interact with other people uh, in civil i never they never told me that they had that kind of zeal towards the society when 10 years back or 15 years back they have entered the industry so now i definitely see lots and lots of awareness and i have seen the uh, z generation employees or z generation people they are very keen in having that kind of value oriented life and value oriented organizations so that's the kind of um, uh, information when i also had him and i i don't that i hope i have been able to hands without presentation being shown to people that what csr is all about or how you can contribute and especially what kind of skill sets are required it's just not about you know feeding people going outside it's a very strategic process in which you have to do lots of financial management in which you have to go for lots of uh, external communication you have to be excellent in your networking skills and then uh, sky is the limit in this uh, field as well so with this uh, i have come to an end if uh, yeah there is some example coming up kpmg i just missed that yes they are hiring the organizations are hiring definitely because this pandemic has also given you see an alarm that uh, if you do not respect nature uh, the nature is not going to respect you the hybrid workplace has started with hybrid workplace someone uh, at uh, some remote place will be working so they'll be having all the more time to do corporate social responsibility so that's the reason why this thing is kind of emerging and people are now becoming more aware and although there used to be a separate uh, process and a separate vertical now this process is getting expanded with mid to big size teams now so definitely a lot of scope in this uh, function as well and you people can always think to have your career made in this process so that's all from my side rajeshwari yeah sir it's your time now okay we would like to propose a hearty vote of thanks to you 
Major Narmata Deshmane for gracing today's webinar, delivering the important topic on customer social responsibility. And uh, I'm sure that all the participants have taken note of your suggestion and will take the future in their career. Lastly, we thank you again on behalf of whole Agri Aviation Private Limited team. Thank you so much for a great session.